I'm not afraid of much of anything. My mother had MS, and she and I were diagnosed at the same time. I had just graduated from nursing school. I was in my 20s, and she was in her 50s. Um, she lived to be 80 years old. We sort of believed that science would find the solution for MS, maybe not in time to help her, but hopefully in time to help me. And I have remained hopeful for a long time. Being a nurse didn't stop me from, you know, trying some pretty far out things. We've tried different chemotherapies to suppress my immune system. The last one we tried was cytoxin. It was um, a very vicious chemo. I went in on the 1st of December and came out on the 10th of December and still had my hair and thought, ha ha, he was wrong. I didn't lose my hair. Well, I began losing my hair on Christmas Day. I have tried magnet therapy. Large magnets such as used are in MRI, but in MRI they're used for imaging and diagnosis. And in the magnet therapy that I tried, um, they're used for healing. I actually slept under these magnets 10 hours to 12 hours a day. With the magnetic um, current running through my brain and upper spinal cord, um, I don't think it helped me any. I think they were taking people's money. What um, I just took was baclofen and aminopyridine, which is an experimental drug that my doctor and I have agreed to use. Um, in large doses and other contexts, it's bug killer. I decided early on that being mentally healthy, emotionally healthy, was one of the most important things I could do for myself. And this has really been an emotional roller coaster for me. There have been times when I went to great lengths to try to do something that might make a difference. I do meditation, but there are times, frankly, when I can't meditate. I'm just so down that um, the faith that I have doesn't seem real. And I just have to ride through those times. Occupy Wall Street! Occupy Nashville! Occupy everything and never let it go! I'm here to add my body and my voice and my energy. The Occupy Movement has been real important to me. I was on the fringe of the hippie generation. Um, I didn't go to Washington to protest Vietnam, but my heart was there. To see people on the streets trying to stand up for what is right and trying to um, call attention to cultural injustice um, has just thrilled me. I like life. I think life is about learning to love. And I don't think I've learned all I want to know yet.